Hey everyone, welcome back to the RP Games YouTube channel. My name is Ralph, and this is XCOM Enemy Unknown. Before we are gonna tackle a UFO that has landed in Canada, I need to take care of one small thing because it has been bugging me a little bit. And that is, I'm gonna grab one more satellite. Just one, and I will show you why. Even though we gave up on Europe. I mean, we gave up on Europe for getting the bonus of uh, having satellites all over the place. But look at Russia. Poor old Russia. They're not beyond saving. And they're the only one without a satellite. And that makes me feel sad. I feel sorry for Vladimir Putin that he doesn't have his satellite. So, and we can get one more in orbit. We have 13 out of 14. So, you know, for 50 credits, let's get flat a, um, a satellite. Never How about that? Return to base for debriefing. So that's what's up. And now we're going to grab another outsider, hopefully, and some more, um, some more UFO equipment because I want more firestorms. Let's uh, see which team we're gonna take. Contact detected. And this is the team that we are gonna take on the mission. And as you can tell, we're not taking the heavy hitters. I want to level up the the other members of the team as well. So we are taking Yellow King, Captain Laws. We are taking. Squaddy Lee as the sniper. We're taking Sergeant Lisa Stevens as the uh, heavy and I see that Lisa has gotten a uh, nickname and that nickname should be Paizo of course not uh, Arcade. There we go. We have uh, Major Wick, the highest ranking, and a uh, sniper. It's a sniper. That doesn't look like a sniper rifle, though. Let me quickly check. Oh, it is. Oh, that's odd. That didn't look like a laser rifle. Oh, well. We have uh, our support, Corporal Tobin, and we have Squatty Glancy. And they are gonna try and capture another outsider. Let's go. Prepare for deployment, strike one. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Roger that big sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Well, it looks like there were some campers or some hippies who left their car out here in the wilderness. That happens. Let's, uh, let's see where we can go. Let's see where we can go. Oh, there is a lot of stuff here. Oh, okay. Maybe it's like um, a former camp for like the Boy Scouts or something. You could see that. Let's see if we can find some contact somewhere. Let's dash. Get, let's run you up as well. And then 
April Lee. We're gonna dash you up to the tree. And then we're gonna throw on some overwatches and see what happens. Roger that. Scanning. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Come get some. Shot failed to connect. Well, one is down. Um, what I'm very curious for someone to explain me in the comments is if uh, Robin D. Laws is using the laser shotgun, why on earth does he still need to load it like a regular shotgun? Like, do you have empty bullets that you're throwing out of the gun if it's a laser gun? I don't know. Seems a bit odd, but you know, now of course he's flanking, but he cannot reach, or well, probably can't reach all the way over there, but run and gun might be interesting. Let's uh, see if we can do some other stuff. That looks like a good shot for Scott to take. Yep. Nicely done, Scott. And where do we have a sniper? Oh, that's not a sniper. This is a sniper, though. Let's see. But there is no visual, it seems. Okay. Could we move in with... Yeah, that's a long way actually to move in. But it's a perfect opportunity for a run and gun. So, um, Robin, you're gonna be a daredevil yellow king right now. <laughs> and, you're <laughs> and you're gonna haul ass, yeah, that's right. And then you're gonna fire almost point blank range. There we go. Dead and gone. Cleaned up nicely. And that means that we can move forward with the rest of the crew here. see what's uh, what is that is it a safe or is it looks like a oh a laundromat oh okay well if someone has some dirty underwear that they need to clean um, you've got an opportunity on this mission We, we really need like a technician or something that can fix the laundromat. And we need someone to provide serious comments on this game, Ralph. This is a serious game, okay? Don't... Covering now. Don't make it into a comedy show. Well, Ralph, don't worry about the comedy show part, because nobody thinks you're funny. All right, yeah, I forget that sometimes. Why am I talking to myself, huh? Well, the UFO is uh, nearby. Let's uh, run everyone up a little bit. We 
can run forward all the way over there. It shouldn't be an issue. Are we gonna move Robin closer? I think we'll just wait one one turn here. I'm on it. Come get some. Oh, watch your eye eye. Eyes peeled, Commander. Roger, I've got my eyes on. <laughs> What was that sound? Well, it's not the sound of the police, I guess. Let's um, move John up there. Nothing happened. Oh, you can move up there. Let me take a little bit of a look. There's not really much cover, is there? That's a pity. Okay, let's just leave... Let's leave April up there for now. Uh, let's... Let's move Cat up behind partial cover. I'm gonna put Lisa behind the tree and then we're gonna see if we can uh, bait them into attacking us. Find some mutants. Quiet. Do you hear something? That's not even close to where I would like them to be. Uh, we're gonna move Lisa up over here, and then hopefully she will have a good shot. Um, when they come out. Let's see, let's move John behind cover here. Let's move Cat up a little bit. Uh, April is a bit out in the open, but I don't know if this is a good move. Yeah, we didn't reveal anything. Okay, that's good. Who else is left? We have Scott, let's dash him behind the tree. And they're probably gonna shoot Robin, who is not behind full cover over here. Well, that's full cover. And then hopefully we can do a hit. If they run out, but yeah, we'll see. been surprised if that was close enough. Okay, he goes into Overwatch. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a lot of hit points. That alien there, it's not carrying a weapon like the others. What could it be doing? <laughs> it's going to 
crush us. If that's what it's gonna do. If it gets close, at least. Um. So what are we gonna do now? I think Lisa. It would be nice if you would fire a rocket right over. Ah, uh, yeah. Woo, mm, mm. Here would be good. Let's try this one. Yep. That's a hit. Okay, John does not have a visual. That sucks. Um... Could we take out the Muton with a headshot in one go? That would be amazing. And then hope that the other Muton doesn't reach us, of course. Ah, oh, that's too bad. One hit point. Okay, I'm gonna move Cat back here. And then hopefully she can get a shot off when... When that one muton shows up, that's uh, the ID now. Let's, uh, let's put on some overwatches. Um, yeah, Robin, I would like you to fire, but I am quite certain that you're not gonna reach these guys. Let's try it anyway. I was wondering about that. Let's see what they're gonna do now. Okay, that's... Oh, that's alright. Is he gonna fire? Yes. Ooh, that's a hit. Oh, oh, is he gonna grab April? Oh, that was a miss. That should have been a hit. Well, that's a hit at least. I don't know what that was. No. <laughs> Trying to aim between uh, April's legs. Yikes! Oh, oh, relax, dude. Oh boy. Oh, that's well done. Thanks, Scott, for panicking and shooting the guy. Okay, wow. Um, critically wounded April Lee. That sucks. Holy shit, eight hit points. That sucks too. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're doing amazing. So we need to uh, kill that dude, the big one there. Um,. You are panicking. Can you shoot? That's the question. No. Of course not, because that would make it easy. And you don't have a visual on this big guy. So how about you move over here? Does that help in any way? Does that help? Can you move over there? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Lisa, you... Can you shoot this one? Not really, huh? Can you lob a grenade over there? 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Relax, mouse, mouse. What are you doing? Relax, mouse. This uh, should have him. No. Yes. There we go. It's one taken care of. Okay. That's one. Now we still need to kill this big dude over here. And it looks like I wanted to save Cat to do the healing immediately, but um, it looks like Cat is going to have to just shoot the guy. Well, guy is maybe a strong word. Oh my god, Cat! What are you doing? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And you cannot get hit again, Robin. And you don't have a grenade, and you have an empty gun. Hmm. We could dash you all the way back here even. Oh wow, that's a long dash, but would that help you out? That is half cover. Oh, this is full cover over here. Yeah, let's... I Oh, oh yeah, it's lightning reflexes, luckily. Trying to get everyone to uh, survive. Oh boy. So we still need to fire on that big gigantic guy over there, but from where? That's a dash. Can I move? That's a dash to this. Why is this giving me a red cover thing? The question is, can we shoot the guy from there? We're gonna have to find out. No! Oh my god, really? And I'm flanked by who exactly? Oh, by that guy. Ah, that explains. <laughs> that kind of explains the red. Uh... Yeah, that explains it. Oh boy, I hope I'm not gonna lose Cat here. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to Overwatch. It's not ideal, to uh, say the least. Especially, especially since that is not where I wanted the Overwatch to go. Yikes! Okay. So, um... Hey Scott, how about you fire on this uh, gigantic thing up there. Oh my god, are we serious? It's getting a bit ridiculous, no? Fifty-five, is it gonna get a lot better if I move over there probably not oh well it did okay you kidding me are you kidding me this is not serious anymore Jesus 
Okay, cat, why don't you um, uh, move over here and uh, what does stabilize? Do you even have? Oh, you don't have that? Yeah, you do, I think. Let's move you up there. And stabilize. Oh boy. Yeah, things are going great. Uh, thanks for asking. <laughs> and let's uh, reload. So now, okay, so she stabilized, but that's it. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, John, how about you move over there? Do you have a visual? Because there is supposed to be one more of these mutons out there somewhere. Supposed to be. That's what you get when you uh, grab the um, when you grab the B team, so to speak. <laughs> huh. Okay. Yeah, and Cat maybe should uh, heal herself, actually. Alright, let's throw in some overwatches. Let's see if this uh, mutant shows up. There is one that ran in there, yes, that's correct. Oh, that's two more. Mm -hmm. That's quite a safe bet, yes. Can we fire it over here? No. Grab a little bit of cover for everyone to take care of our uh, new friends over there. And let's uh, put a round of Overwatch. and hopefully get some uh, good hits when they come around the corner there. Should we leave Cat over there? I prefer her over here. And that's another one, that's three. Good shot, John. They're starting to lose ground. <laughs> I'm not so convinced about that part, but uh, you know. Can we take him out? Yes. Very good. Well done. Um, yeah, I, I just want to wait for the other two, so we're gonna stay here for now. 
Roger that. Scanning. Roger that. Scanning. I feel, Commander. Roger that. Scanning. Roger. I've got my eyes on. <laughs> Nope, they're not coming out. Let's see if I see them from up here. Oh, he's in there. Thirty six per cent. Well, that's not a lot. But at least I know where he is now. Uh, let's move you back where he came from. Let's see if it comes out. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Overwatch. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Shh. You hear that? Oh, that was a dash. Wasn't very smart. I have to be super careful with Cat, she cannot get hit again. And I need to make sure that uh, Robin uh, lives as well because I want to. I really want to grab this uh, outsider. There's a lot of noise, but that's about it. Still no visual. Still no visual. Hmm. Let's move in very slowly and hopefully we get a lucky overwatch somewhere to take down that uh, muton. We're gonna get a hit now. Oh, there is another one. Oh, there is two. Yep. Awesome. Just awesome. 46. 
How about we run and gun? Uh, wait, what am I doing? That would be full cover, right? Or is that is that blown out? Ah, that's blown out. Okay. That would be full cover, but that's too far away. And I'm not gonna reach with the... Uh, not gonna reach with the shotgun. This would maybe be a better position. 46%. I just need to hope that... That there is not a overwatch from back there, from back inside there. Hmm. Cat can move up here. Let's move Cat up there. And let's try and have her take down this one. Of course not, because why Why do it easy when you can do it the hard way too? Okay. Um, oh, maybe this is an option. <laughs> no. Why is this shot blocked? Let's send the shredder in here. Let's just destroy everything. Shoot it. Oh, come on. One more hit point. Oh, boy. Okay, so at least we know where they are. Do you have a visual? No, of course not. But you do have smoke. But smoke might be an option to throw in front here. That would be good at least. Um, yeah. We really need to take out this guy. 16%. Yeah, that's not going to be good enough. But you could move here. And that protects you from the other guys. Let's do that. And then we have... What kind of a percentage? 44. That's still not amazing. But, Robin, uh, this is the time to hit. Okay, so, John, that is full cover over there, so how about you move, and then let's try a headshot on this guy. That's one down the drain. And now if, if, if I had full confidence in 
Scott Glancy's ability to do one measly damage over there, then I would run him up here and shoot, but do I have that confidence? Yeah, Scott, you're gonna hate me forever, but uh, I, I don't actually. So what I want to do is relax with the mouse and throw down some smoke. And hope that that is sufficient. It's moving into the smoke. That's all it's doing? Oh boy. Um. Okay, Scott, I have uh, full confidence that you can take this guy out. <clears throat> Yep, that's what I was afraid of that would happen. Oh, you're still panicking, are you? Yes. Well, I think with the pistol it has a higher chance, yes. Just one damage. Okay. With that uh, taken care of, let's uh, relax for a second. Um, how about I move Cat over here and heal Robin? Uh, oh, I cannot. Oh, did I use my med kit for this? Uh, a revival thing or stabilize thing aha uh -huh, okay yeah that kind of makes sense too well in that case we're gonna stay outside here for one moment and I'm guessing that uh, we have everything taken care of now outside that's a guess. So that means that we need to start moving inside. We've got most areas covered here. Yeah, we should be fine normally. I think we had all the enemies. And if not, we're... Uh, well, we're at... Uh, a dirty word that I don't want to use. Affirmative. Covering now. We're uh we're effed. Roger. I've got my it's okay, on. right? Like my my sensitive viewers can deal with uh, the F. Why is that a dash? Is that so far? Okay, time to move the rest in as well. Let's dash K 
get in over here. Put out an overwatch. And then we still need to get Scott in here. We can dash him too. There we go. And we can put... Oh no, we, <laughs> we have to reload. Okay. There is some movement uh, from over there. So... Let's see how we can get there. How can we get there? That's a dash again, then I can better dash you over there actually. least we have a bunch of overwatches. Affirmative. Covering now. I feel, Commander. What was that sound? Well, You are gonna find out very soon. Move Robin over there. In the next round we are going to open up this beautiful door. Oh, I put uh, the wrong person there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I meant to put uh, John there in a sniper position, but that's all right. I'm sure Scott will do an amazing job in there as well. Roger that. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, let's open up this door and see what happens. Nothing. Not one thing. Okay, let's move Robin next to this door. Dash Scott up there. All right. Overwatch, aye, aye. Roger that. Scanning. It's not coming from there, huh? Oh, it is here. Okay, Robin, now it's time to do your magic. And stun. Light him up. There we go. Excellent work. All objectives complete. Uh, yeah, but it didn't go that well. I, I mean, there's clearly a a big difference between the the A team and and like the the A team and like a, like a B team. You know, if we don't bring the heavy hitters, it's clear that we're we're struggling a little bit. So I think it's very important that we get this um, the new rifles. 
And I was told as well that I need to get these uh, EMP cannons on my firestorms. So uh, let's see which of these tasks we, we can complete when we get back home. Okay, we got some promotions. Lisa Stevens became a sergeant, that's great. Uh, let's see, rapid reaction or heat ammo. Let's grab the heat ammo. Cat Tobin. Oh, you know that I want more med kits. There we go. And Scott Glancy got a promotion and uh, yeah, Sprinter, there is a, yeah, it's not really a question. More movement. Let's see, did we bring back, oh, we did bring back flight computers, UFO power source, that's great. That means that we should be able to build more firestorms, I think. Uh, let me check with engineering if that is the case that is the case how many can we build not two but one okay well we'll build we'll build one and then we're just gonna have to uh, scan and see how soon we get a new mission. The scope upgrade is done, that's great. Light plasma rifle is in two days. We have the uh, heavy weapons platform, okay. We have the plasma rifle, okay, that's great. Let's uh, see what it says. In addition to manufacturing our own light plasma rifles, our soldiers should now be able to use any that they recover from the battlefield. Okay, now the question is, do we have light plasma rifles? I need to check that with engineering again. Although we continue to gain a better understanding of the alien plasma weapons we've recovered with each passing day, adapting the technology is but one aspect of the process involved in designing these weapons. We must also ensure that the armaments we develop are suitable to the firing positions our troops are accustomed to. If the weapon doesn't conform to human ergonomic standards, our troops certainly won't be able to fire it effectively. As a result of our efforts to reduce the weapon's weight, we've noted a substantial improvement in the overall accuracy of this rifle. In addition to manufacturing these new lightweight plasma rifles, we can also apply this approach to modify any plasma rifles captured in the field. Okay. Uh, we have a berserker autopsy we can instantly do, so let's do that. The men are calling this beast the Berserker, although it shares the same structure as the Muton, for reasons yet unknown to us. The Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. Although similar to the previously catalogued Muton species, this particular specimen is different. Our troops have taken to calling this beast the Berserker. Uh, yeah, April Lee got berserked. Based on its uh, uncharacteristically aggressive tactics in the field. 
despite sharing the same physiological structure of the other mutants, for reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust. Charging into combat with little regard for its own safety, yeah, we noticed. Current theories as to the cause of this behavior have led us to begin investigating possible genetic manipulation of the subject's endocrine glands, or in this case the equivalent glands that appear to secrete androgenic hormones. If the aliens enlarged or modified the action of these glands, it could explain the Berserker's outbursts. Specifics on this creature's ability in combat should be available when using the unit analysis view on another specimen of the same type in the field. Yeah, sure, why not grab a live one? That makes total sense. So now, now, let's see, Plasma Cannon is 4 days, Illyrium is 6 days, Heavy Lasers 6 days, Plasma Rifle 7 days, and the EMP Cannon is still 15 days, okay, so um, let's see, what does this do? Extremely effective ship-based cannon. Ah, okay. And plasma weaponry research credits. Huh. Do we want to put plasma cannons on our ships or do we want to go straight for the EMP cannon? And a uh, plasma rifle would be nice too. Let me quickly check with uh, engineering if we actually have uh, these rifles. We have four light plasma rifles. Okay, that's great. That's great. And we might even have a bunch of larger rifles as well. So I think I'm gonna go for plasma rifle and from there to EMP cannon. I think that's the way I wanna go. Not quite sure. I do like this EMP cannon though. But yeah, getting the rifles is... I mean, we're getting shot at with these plasma rifles, so it would be good to return fire with them as well. So let's grab the plasma rifle, and then let's see what else is gonna happen if we scan for activity. Oh, or Illyrium Generator, yeah, that would be nice. Okay, that gives us a whole bunch of new power. Let's see, three scatter lasers. Can we create them? 311 credits. Um, let's take a quick look. Scatter lasers, eight, oh yeah, I'm gonna make those for sure. That gives me 50, uh, no, that costs me 54 and it gives us 300, so yeah, let's, uh, let's quickly do that. Go back to the uh, pending requests. Dispatch the items, ka -ching. Let's see if we can see the um, small uh, video for the firestorm or if we're interrupted by a mission. Look at that beauty!
Okay, so um, let's see what we need to do now. The ship list. Um, uh, let's see. So we need to move one of them to North America. Let's do that. And then this one we can... Uh, get Phoenix cannons on maybe let's see um, edit loadout Now, of course, we don't have uh, something available in Asia, but uh, yeah, let's hope for the best. Okay. Oh, we have the plasma rifles. Awesome. That is good. So, um, let's see. It took an extensive effort by the research team to reduce the considerable mass of the larger alien plasma rifle. By replacing the outer frame components with composite materials, we've managed to substantially reduce the weight without compromising the weapon's power output or accuracy. These reductions did coincide with the added heft of a larger power supply, but we still managed to net an overall reduction to several of several kilograms. The substantial increases in firing rate and overall damage output versus our other prototype variants also required some additional modifications of the integrated Illyrium power cell. The end result of this work is a highly advanced mobile plasmite discharge weapon that improves on nearly all aspects of the conventional X9 rifle. I believe the engineering team is now on standby to begin production of this weapon at your discretion. Any alien rifles recovered from the field can also be modified for our own um, like following the techniques we've developed okay um, okay so I said I was gonna go EMP cannon so that's where I'm gonna go and now let's uh, quickly we've check big things here but I have to admit my team and I are most proud of the work we put into the firestorm so we don't have any plasma rifles. 135 okay so uh, let's see if we grab two snipers and we have probably one heavy then three three of these rifles would be sufficient I'm guessing so let's manufacture three of them Oh, we're gonna do some target practice again. He looks very happy. <laughs> Did he just shoot a Teenage Mutant Turtle? I think that was Leonardo that just got killed. Poor Leo. Okay. So, back to uh, continuing the time, I'm guessing that at a certain point we're gonna meet some other mission. Another UFO has landed, there we go, it has landed in the United States this time. So of course we're gonna go and attack it once more. But we'll do that in the next episode. As always, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments all the mistakes I made. Yes, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs>
And um, I will see you in the next video. Take care.